Yo, hello and welcome to a snowy winter where we pull off a badass Pacific Standard heist. The main heist which nets you the most money. This is the most famous heist of them all and is a go-to for those that can buy any new cars, apartments, or anything at any price. When you start this heist, if you plan on being a driver, make sure not to drive to the bank with the armored Karuma because you're going to save that for the getaway. If you do, you can always just drive to the apartment where your getaway car should be located and choose a car you're not going to use before you drive it to the bank. So now we arrive at the bank. Now once in the bank there will be two guards around the corner. You can melee them in the back of the head or you can shoot them if you want, but do not shoot the hostages. I repeat, do not shoot the hostages. You don't want the noose task force on you. So here we go, getting underway. Now the demolitionists will head to remove the locks and with the two crowd control teammates, one of them can pull out a regular rocket launcher and just hold it in their hands, which should eternally keep the intimidation meter up. If you don't have a rocket launcher, you can just shoot at some windows or some counters, but don't shoot too close to the hostages. There's always a chance of killing one by accident. The other crowd control person can head upstairs in the back some people throw proximity mines or gas grenades. I throw about 10 to 13 gas grenades at the door and leave. Other guards will come out that door, so that's just taking care of them beforehand. You can also just stand there and wait for them to come out and shoot them up, since the hostages will be taken care of. The hacker and demolition. They will get rid of the guards downstairs once the hack is done and once the demolition is done, then only one of them will need to take the money, which is better because there's more of a chance of money loss with two people carrying the money. Now, side note, in two times RP and cash events, you don't lose money from getting shot or hard crashing, but you will in any regular heist. Once you have the money, return to the entrance, and one or two of you should have some kind of launcher preparing for the cops that will be surrounding outside. The others can be looking out by shooting the cops around you and then you all make your way to the alley. I was having a bit of lag on this particular one, but as I said in another video, make sure you have that heavy heist vest and stack up on lots of armor. Because you never know, sometimes you may not be paying attention and you can go down pretty easy. And right here, you're gonna notice my clumsy fall. See, the thing about this is you need your strength up in order to have a back. <laughs> whoa have a balanced fall so that you can roll over and keep going without taking damage. Something like what I just did there except I was at a greater height. So you want to make sure you have your strength meter up. You can do things like play games of golf and such. Now this was a weird episode here because some of the cops were already in the way which they shouldn't have been this early so I had to get somewhere and get myself you know situated before I made a move now you don't have a lot of time 
to stay back so you want to make sure you keep up with the crew but if you need to you stop and you can put on another body armor and you keep it moving it could be rough going through those alleys if things are not balanced as they should when you come through there usually I don't have that problem but I had it then and also I have to add that I was lagging so keep that in mind I shouldn't have been lagging but I was so keep that in mind now when you get here the one thing you want to do because we're taking the car so you want to blow up these bikes here so this is the car route we're going to take instead of riding the bikes and this is your hideout over here if you watched my other video about how to prepare for this heist you will know that you should buy this apartment and you can also go in two ways you can go in through the door you can go in through the garage uh, at the moment I couldn't go in because cops were surrounding me so you will have that issue if there's a lot of cops around however our teammates already have the car so that was not a problem now with this situation what we're going to do here is get up out of here this is not not everybody goes the same direction I don't go the same direction but in this particular method here what we did was we left the person that had the money in the bank so that they would be protected with the money and they wouldn't get hit or anything so they lose the money then we took the car and we had to go all the way back around through the same path we came through when we were heading to the bikes in the apartment the reason why we had to do that is because there are still checkpoints there and we had to make sure we clear them with the car since everybody wasn't with us they don't count it until we all go through the checkpoints and that's what we just did once we got the person having the money bag into the car and we went on back around in there and came back out now we should have came out of there with uh, 1.25 but I think we took a little bit of a hit and it ended up being 1.24 as shown down there in the corner so now we're just trying to get away from the cops and make it to our destination now we wasn't playing this all perfect and I have to say the snow will make it a little bit more difficult to drive as well so that's the thing about snow this is actually my first time doing this heist in snow and I think this is my first time playing in the snow period and that's only because I took a bit of a break so I wasn't around on all of the special occasions but now we're going down this street we got everything chasing us for some odd reason we have more cops than we should have and the types of cops that are out here is uh, something that doesn't usually happen but I think it probably happened due to the way we just escaped with the money I think because of the alternative path we took we had a bit of an alternative outcome <laughs> now now that look at that look look at that cop car man Wow is that from, I mean I've never seen that before until we started playing the snow thing I noticed that things really go flying during this uh, snow season here but we head on around the curve now there's an area I want you all to see here because some people and I was preparing to type it out to him but I didn't have to really type it out because he was already hip to it he already knew and noose is out there waiting on us oh boy we just having a, a hell of a time across that hill now 
once you get up to this bridge and you go across the bridge, there's the hill to the left. And when you get to a particular area over here, a little smooth area, which he kind of slightly passes, or you can go to this area too. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. Both of, the, both of the sides are smooth and you just ride him up. Come on up here. Uh, come on, come on. Spin it around, get it around. Oh, boy. I can't knock him. I mean, the snow is kind of, you know, difficult. So now, you get up here and you go under the underpass. And that saves you a lot of time from going all the way around that bend, that sharp bend, and then trying to turn back up and do all that. Uh, forget all that. You just cut straight across the hill and you know you go through the tunnel now this method here is one method i usually don't do but it is a famous method it's, it's uh one of the later methods that came and so people usually will take a different path and drive all through some areas here just to get i guess to make a a shorter distance to the objective but it's quite risky so that's why I don't really do this one but if you're good with it hey it requires balancing the car so that's one thing that can turn out one way or another I've been on a few heists where this actually didn't go too well and the car blew up when it hit the ground, uh, this guy was quite lucky. And uh, who was driving? Is that Sharp Peter? Might be Sharp Peter. I can't remember. I think it was. I think it's Sharp Peter though. I think uh, Un Ha is in this one. And uh, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, brother, just let me know, <laughs> and we'll get that situated. Uh. But yeah, so I think this is Sharp Peter, and uh, and we make it to the boat. So you see the path we took, got to the boat, and we're gonna drive off, and it's it's done. Now, went too hard. It was actually fun. Now, when riding out in the dinghy, just be careful of a few rocks ahead. There are some corners up here that the dinghy can get stuck on and you don't want that because it just ruins a great mission so make sure when you go forward now the driver here is going to purposely run over the rocks but if you're new to this don't try that as you never know what's going to happen when you get stuck on these rocks and then it's all bad but anyway this is Pacific Standard Heist the snowy version. <laughs> so, it's successful. Check it out. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, my friends! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> Woo! I know I didn't do that much, but you, you, oh, you. You know, I thought you were just a bunch of uh, creepy and quiet weirdos. Turns out you're a bunch of creepy, quiet weirdos with talent. You, you rob and you steal and destroy like, like geniuses. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Here, let me, uh. Why are you your money? You know, <laughs> I will never forget the good times. You know, all the, the laughs we had. You know, you're like family. The picnic, the picnic, <laughs> you know, the hike in the woods, and, and all the selfies, and <laughs> oh, and the time we went rollerblading, and we, we watched the, the sunset, and we, we stayed up all night talking and sharing our innermost years, and, and then, Was that? That wasn't you. I, even the the skinny dipping and the. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you saying? 
I, uh, the drugs. Oh, man, the drugs. I'm a, I am a heavily medicated man. I, uh, I'm not well at all. I, uh, I'm a little embarrassed. Um, okay, the money. Here. And here. And here. And here. Okay, you better take off and uh, take care. Okay. <laughs> Bye bye. So we made it. We got away with the big one. And this is a lot to take. But I'll tell you this. You see the number like that? Before it went down to that? If you're a host, um, two times uh, RP and cash. Those events, you actually get the 1.2 million yourself. And your partners can take, I think, 550,000, I believe. Something, something along those lines. But yeah, it was a success. Hey y'all, we did it. Simple and easy. And fun as well. This is my first time on the snow in this particular heist and it was pretty cool. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And even comment below. This is PD Elite Gaming and we'll be back at y'all with more and uh, I holler.